little bit about scratch cooking. So I figured I'd give you a brief example, a small little example of what we mean by scratch cooking. So what you see in front of you is our Caesar dressing. We don't buy anything in jars, plastic tubs, anything like that. We literally start with eggs and oil and acid to make a mayonnaise or an aioli, fancier word for it. We have anchovies, we have garlic, lemon, salt, pepper, whole grain mustard, some beautiful little shaved parmesan, and that's what goes into our Caesar. So if you come in and order a salad from us, we make everything that goes into that salad. Now we don't do it out here in the restaurant. We do it back in the kitchen. So things might take just a bit longer, but I'm sure you'll be happy with the results. So I can go ahead and put together a quick little Caesar for you. And we start with some egg yolks. And we always add just a pinch of salt, a little bit of pepper. We're gonna take probably two egg yolks, so we'll do three of these nice little, little anchovies. And all we're doing is mincing these guys up. Nobody wants a whole big piece of anchovy in their Caesar. But you want the flavor. The flavoring's fantastic. So now one of the key ingredients for a good Caesar. Garlic. So I take it a little light bump, take the nib off, and then the garlic comes off and the skin goes out. Back there. Okay. So now we have our garlic. Now garlic, right here, is almost hot, spicy. But if you do a little slice on it, it's a little less spicy. If you sit here and chop it up like I did with the anchovy, mince it, it loses a little bit. The oils come out, so you lose some of that spiciness. In this case, I don't want it that hot, but I want that garlic flavor. So now we have almost minced garlic. And because I bruised all of the cells, the oils came out, and now I have a nice round flavor of garlic. A little dash of mustard, some acid, you can use a vinegar, but we like to use just fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then since we're making an aioli, to make an aioli you have a protein molecule that you're attaching fat to. That protein molecule, say it's this big, and that's the egg yolks, and then we're going to add oil, and that's the fat. But we don't want to use a lot of protein in this because I don't want it to taste like a custard. I want it to taste like the anchovies and the garlic and the pepper. So to make this molecule of protein a little bit bigger so it can have more fat attached to it, I'll add a splash of water. That allows that protein molecule to expand up. So now, start we have to get any emulsion. And it would be a little handy. Yeah. Now we have our Caesar dressing. We're going to put a little bit more Parmesan in. Whip that around. And that is what goes on your salad.